here we need to talk about the gray matter and white matter of the central nervous system the gray matter is the substance of the brain and spinal cord that contains the neuronal cell bodies of the central nervous system so here within the cerebrum the two main locations of the gray matter are on the surface of the gyri that is the cortical gray matter and the nucleus which are embedded in the deeper part of the white matter like an island called as basal ganglia so these are the two locations where we can find the gray matter in the cerebrum and if you see the brain stem so the brain stem contains gray matter in the numerous nuclei as well as in the cerebellum the gray matter is located on the folia of the cerebellar cortex and the deep cerebellar nuclei and when we see the last structure called as spinal cord in the spinal cord the gray matter is located in the center of the cord surrounding the central canal so this is the gray matter and what is the white matter when we said that the gray matter contains the neuronal cell bodies obviously we need to say that the white matter is the substance of the brain and spinal cord that contains the fiber tracks of the neuronal axons of the central nervous system because the bodies are the part of gray matter and the tail that is axons are the part of white matter so the term white matter is mainly used because of paler color of lipid rich myelin that encase the axons in the tracks compared to that of the gray matter which predominantly contains the neuronal cell bodies when we specifically talk about the gray matter but because of the wrapping of the myelin around these axons it gives the pale color there's a reason we are calling it as the white matter so remember guys gray matter is nothing but collection of neuronal cell bodies or we can say the cell bodies which are located which is called as gray matter and the axons wherever the axons are seen when these axons are traveling along like a bundle these are called as tracks all these tracks resembles white matter so that's the reason we can say that collection of axons are categorized mainly on the basis of their course not only that basis on their connection so based on their course and connection these white matter fibers or we can say white matter tracks whatever we say these are classified under association fibers projection fibers and commissural fibers so when we call it as association fibers it associates which means it connects these association fibers connect the cortical regions within the same cerebral hemisphere of the brain right but what are projection fibers these projection fibers project from higher centers to the lower centers or from lower centers to the higher centers of the cns example we can say the corona radiator is the best example because the corona radiator as well as internal capsule so both contains the ascending as well as descending tracks which carry and receive right information from the body and gives information from the brain to the body so it contain both the tracks so other than corona radiator as well as internal capsule the fimbria all these are the projection fibers and next about the commissural fibers so remember that commissural fibers are the transverse fibers so these fibers interconnect the similar regions in the left as well as right side of the central nervous system or we can say left and right side of the brain stem left and right side of the cerebral hemisphere or cerebellum or spinal cord but it connects same region of both the sides these are called as commissural fibers other than this the white matter fibers constitute corpus callosum hippocampal commissure anterior as well as posterior commissure and habenular commissure which is also called as habenular nucleus all this comprises the white matter of the central nervous system 
So this is what we need to know about uh, the white matter as well as gray matter of the CNS.